Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Stormworks yet again, and today we are back with our VTOL. As you guys can see, this thing now has actual legs, which is awesome. Uh, this is the most modern version that we currently have. Today, we're actually going to be working on making it fly, so hopefully we can get that done. Anyway, this is the newest version, this is the one before, this is the one before, and this is the one we started with. Obviously things have changed a little bit over time, but now we're actually going to make it work. So, let's get to it, shall we? Okie dokie, guys. So this thing right here is, of course, our VTOL, and uh, we need to make it into a tilt rotor that is actually kind of stable. Before we work on that, though, what we're going to have to do is actually increase... Uh, the height of these ones at the back, add gearboxes to these ones, because that's what's missing right there. And, uh, yeah, go ahead and get those working. We're also going to have five blades per propeller, because I think that makes sense. So, we're going to do that on that one, we're going to do it on that one, and we're going to do it on the other two as well, because that makes sense. So, let's do that first, before we do anything else, and then we're going to be using TT's uh, microcontroller in order to make this work a little bit better. But anyway, five, 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 and five, there we go, awesome. From there, we're going to go ahead and lift this guy and this guy into the sky. Here we go, paste it there, awesome. And we're going to go ahead and build on both sides, try and put these in properly, and that'll be awesome. So, first thing, gearbox, go ahead and smash that into there like so. Go ahead and then build these guys into here as well. This is going to be a bit of a pain in the butt, but we'll do it. Uh, so, ah, there we go, there's one more, and go ahead and put that piece in. Fill this guy in there, fill it in there, fill it in here, and fill it in here, and that is awesome. Yeah, so now that should work properly. Okay, so I'll try and link this down below, but essentially, if we go for Tilt Rotor, if you guys type in TT Tilt Rotor Controller Module, you can actually find this guy. Uh, and essentially, this allows you to just build tilt rotors uh, relatively easily. I say relatively. Um, kind of easily, but obviously, you do have to implement all of this into your build. So, we're going to go ahead and cut this. We're then going to load up our Spaceship 5, wherever that is. Hang on. Do, 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 do. Spaceship 5, excellent. And we're going to have to put all of these guys into here somehow. I don't know where we're going to fit them, but they do need fitting in. So, yeah. Okay, turns out I can actually just put them there. So let's go ahead and merge this together. Ah, we've merged it. Excellent. Uh, we're now going to have to put everything into place. So there is collective right. Uh, there is pitch right. So that goes to these guys. And hopefully, uh, we can actually just attach them to each of these. Uh, and maybe we can get it working this way. I don't know whether this will work, but we'll see. So, collective, collective. There we go. Awesome. We then need to move to this side. Collective left. One and two. There we go. I've never tried it on four engines before. I've tried it on two, and it did work on two. Uh, but I've never tried it on four, so we'll see how this goes. Anyway, pitch and uh, pitch. There we go. I think roll is the only thing that we're going to struggle with here. Um, but that might be okay, so... Yeah. Anyway, uh, collectives are done. That's all awesome. Good. Uh, now what do we need to do? All of these are fine. We have elevator roll and rudder. Now, we don't actually have any of those. Oh, we have this, though. We do have rudder. Uh, but we don't have pitch and we don't have roll. Um, but I think we need those. I do. So we'll add the rudder and we'll go from there. That just helps with plane mode. We might be fine. Okay, so now that we've done all of those, let's go ahead and jump straight into this and go to Composite. There we go. We can attach this guy down to the seat. And I'm assuming that all of it will work still. I'm not sure, though. Uh, we can change this. We can also change all of these guys as well if we need to. Uh, and there is a lot that we can change, but we don't need to change it just yet. Uh, but anyway, we've got these guys. Hopefully it'll work. Let's go ahead and uh, make sure that this guy works. Also, we need to change the gearbox. Uh, it's actually going to be 3 to 1. We're going to do it on all of these, actually. So, 3 to 1. Uh, 3 to 1 on that guy. 3 to 1 on this guy. And 3 to 1 on this guy. And hopefully that'll be fine. Also, with that being said, uh, these guys are 5, right? Yeah, 5, 5, 5. Okay, excellent. So, um, what else do we need? What else do we need? Uh, I guess all the engines do start already. That's okay. A and D is actually going to be controlling... Ah, uh, nothing. Okay, right. W and S... WNS can control, um, no, 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 actually, where's the clutch connected to? Clutch is connected to up and down. Maybe that'll be fine, actually. Maybe that'll, okay, spawn it in, let's see if it works. This is gonna be crazy, if it does actually, oh, <laughs> hang on, the propellers fell off. The propellers fell off, merge that with that, merge this with this, there we go, go again. Okay, this time the propellers will not fall off, and we should be good. So, press one. Oh, actually, infinite electricity is a necessity on this. 
for right now. There we go. Do these guys as well. There we go. Okay, it's working. Good. Okay, so they're all working. That's all fine. Uh, now, if we go ahead and push up and down. Actually, what's the best way of doing this? What, what is the best way of doing this? Uh, no, okay, right. There's, there's something missing. There is, there is something missing. Uh, tilt rotor controls. Connect to the same lever that is calling, controlling your tilt rotors. Okay, that one right there. Okay, and then this one is altimeter. Place your altimeter as close to the nose as you can for maximum stability. Uh, okay, we need one of those. And we need to enable the system. So that goes on. Actually, that goes on when we turn the engines on. It's automatically going to be on. Okay, we need an altimeter. Da -da 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 okay, one of these. Let's go ahead and smash this into where the nose is, which is actually uh, all the way here. And we can't actually put it where we kind of need it or want it. Ah, that's annoying. Um, that's very annoying. We're going to have to put it here. Okay, for now, this is going to go right here. So we connect this upwards all the way to there. And does that guy need electricity? I don't think it does. But also, we got infinite electricity on anyway, so it doesn't overly matter. But anyway, let's go and open up the doors. Because we might actually be flying today. Who knows? Here we go. Get inside of the vehicle. Yes, okay. Turn the engines on. One, two, three, four. There we go. Okay, let me go ahead and put this back to zero real quick. Okay, right. Engines are running. Okay, we might have had a bit of an issue there. Um, so, we need all of the big arrows pointing forwards, which they already do. Uh, I am going to go ahead and check out the, um, the version of this that has uh, some more extra controls, and we'll have a look at those. Also, side note, because we haven't added the pitch or the roll uh, in terms of the actual uh, control surfaces, we might add them to here. So, the pitch can go on the back ones, and roll can go on the front ones, and that might actually be quite cool. Maybe. Okay, side note, actually, I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy, and I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I'm going to press U, all right, to turn it around, and that makes sense. There we go. We're going to do it on this one as well, so let's get to the center of that. Go ahead and cut it. Press U, paste it right there. There we go, and then merge all of these. So merge that one with that one. Sorry, this one with this one. There we go. This one with this one, and that should be awesome. Now we might have more of a chance of this working, so let's save this as it is. There we go. Uh, spawn it in again, and let's see if we can get it working this time. Maybe. I seem to remember having some issues with this before, but, um, it's fine. It's okay. Right, here we go. Engine started straight away. Excellent. Let's go ahead and start up those. There we go. Okay. Okay, it's a little bit wibbly-wobbly, and I don't know why. I don't quite know why yet. But we need to look at more control surfaces to see if uh, anything there needs doing. So, any of these not actually connected to something. It's very difficult to see. Uh, it is extremely difficult to see. These guys aren't. So, we got roll there, we got elevator there, and we got rudder here. So, rudder's connected. Uh, what about the underside? Those are connected, those are connected. Everything's connected. Confusing. Okay, so it does say in the actual uh, thing not to turn this around, so I have done a boo-boo. Uh, that essentially needs to be turned all the way back around, so let's go ahead and cut this. Turn it so that is facing forwards, move it this way, uh, move it backwards, and we can still have it in the same place, that is fine. Merge that with that, and that's okay. Now it might work a little bit better. It might. It might also not work at all, but we'll see. So in the seat we go, go ahead and press 1, turn these on. Slowly but surely we will get there. Okie dokie, awesome. Let's go ahead and do this. Okay, yes. Let me go ahead and do this really quickly. Okay, we're going to push ourselves out of here a little bit. A little bit at a time. We can slide on these, of course. There we go. Now fix this to zero. Take off. Lift the landing gear up. No way. No way, guys. No way. It's flying. It's actually flying. Oh, this is amazing. Yeah. I think our clutch control is a little bit off, though. 
I think that's on up and down, and that will make us fall out the sky. So I need to change that. But other than that, we're good. So if I go ahead and do this... Oh, yeah. Okay, this is where issues start start actually happening. <laughs> um, as soon as I turn it into forward momentum mode, we have issues. Uh, but that was always going to happen, I think. Okay, so what I'm going to do then is I'm actually going to go to back here. I'm going to delete a few of these. There we go. I'm then going to go to control surfaces, and I'm going to try and figure out which ones actually fit. I think small ones will fit in there, so we're going to go ahead and attach these guys. Uh, and I have done it on both sides already, so I'm going to delete that there. And they actually fit quite nicely into here, so that's good. These are, of course, our elevators. So let's go ahead and smash that onto there and onto here. And that might be one of our main issues with this. So that's okay. We're then going to go to this. Yeah, okay, that's fine. I'm going to delete these guys. One, two, three. Is that right? One more. One more there. Okay, cool. Uh, and these are going to be our rolls. So actually, these need to be different to each other. Uh, there we go. Okay, is that right? Yes, it is. Okay, so roll. Let's go ahead and connect that to there and also here. Um, and that might give us a little bit more of a chance. Maybe. Uh, the only other thing that I can think of doing as well is actually going to here, uh, grabbing something like this and whacking it on the front the opposite way to the back ones, and maybe we'll have a chance there. I'm not sure, uh, but I think this will also look kind of cool too. So we'll go ahead and add, add it on. There we go. Okay, so this is pitch. Da, 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 or our elevators. Let's go ahead and smack it onto there and there and here. Oh no, why haven't I done it on both sides? Ah, no. There and there? Is that right? Are they slightly further forwards? No, they're, they're exactly in line. One and two, there we go. Connect the elevator to those ones as well. Here we go, elevators. One and two. And that might help us, instead of diving at the start or going a bit uneven, uh, we might be okay. Maybe. Also, um, do 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 do. What is our engine throttle on, actually? What, what is our engine throttle connected to? It's each of these, isn't it? So each of these are actually going to be... Oh, no, are they? I don't, I don't know what they're connected to. But essentially, I need these throttle levers to be connected to the right things. So the clutch is actually going to get put in whenever I do this. Uh, the clutch on this one is going to get put in whenever I do this. And we're going to continue uh, for the other two as well. And hopefully that'll be fine. Okay, so that is everything that I think we need. Uh, I'm pretty sure everything is actually in here already. That's all good. Uh, it, it turns on by itself. That's good. So let's go ahead and spawn it in again. We'll get it into the sky. In fact, we'll move it out of here. Then we'll get it into the sky. And hopefully now uh, it will actually work. So do this one and this one. This one and this one. Because the clutch starts on now, we've got issues, but... Hopefully that's fine. It looks like it's okay. All right, do this. Oh my. Oh my. Wait, 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 wait. Why has that happened? Wait, actually as well. Sorry, side note. Are these why one's neutral? That one's neutral. That one's neutral. That one's neutral. Okay, maybe the clutch going in automatically might be a bad idea, but we'll see. All right, here we go. Back in we go. Okay, they've started. Okay, go forwards. Okay, we're in the air. We are actually in the sky. We are flying somewhat level. Okay, press 2, lift our landing gear up. Okay, go ahead and increase this. Okay, increase it again. This is awesome. <laughs> this is actually really, really cool. I love it. So it does actually sort of work. you just got to be very gentle with the controls. Otherwise, you might end up crashing straight into the ground. But other than that, it does actually fly. So now, let's go ahead and pick out a landing location. Try and land it down on the ground. And uh, we'll do that. Yeah. Okay, this island on our right looks like a perfect landing location. Yes. So is this a submarine base, actually? I think it is. Uh, okay, so we're going in. Let's say, yes, let's go ahead and put it back into vertical landing mode. There you go, drive forwards, go ahead and press 2. To lower the legs down, and then we should be able to land it down. With that being said, how is our fuel doing? Our fuel isn't amazing. <laughs> our fuel is, is not, it's not amazing, but that's fine. Anyway, we're going to go in, 
We're going to try and do a landing. And I'm also going to add catalytic converters to this thing too. Because uh, I think that makes sense. But honestly, let's go ahead and try and land it. Okay, here we go. On the ground we go. Awesome. And then press 1 to turn off all the engines. Go ahead and do this and this. This and this. And we have now successfully landed in a different location. Guys, it works. It actually works. That's amazing. Okay, so let's say we wanted to take back off again then. Let's go ahead and get back inside. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Close this off. Go ahead and get in the seat. Press 1 again. Do this and this. Do this and this. And take off. Here we go. Yes, go ahead and press 2. Nice. Now we're going to slowly transition it into forward mode. So we do this. It works. Actually, perfectly fine. That is amazing. That is actually amazing. Good. Guys, we built something that works perfectly fine. First time. Great. I say first time. It wasn't quite first time. But still, this is awesome. Okay, so what do we actually need to work on then? Fuel is an issue. I think we start with like 12,500 and we've used, we've used a lot of it already. Uh, but that has allowed us to fly from our base uh, down there, which isn't very far away, to here, which is then allowing us to fly further north. Um, is it actually that bad? It's not terrible, but it is, it is still bad. Uh, we can get outside still, can't we? Ew, maybe. We should be able to. Oh! <laughs> okay, don't jump into the propeller, whatever you do. I, I feel like the propeller might be slightly over... In fact, let's have a little look at that and see. Um, the propeller might be slightly over the thingy. So if we go ahead here and we do this. Let's have a little look. So if we go outside, we need to not jump into it, to be fair. But yeah, the propeller might actually hit you if you go into this corner. So watch out if you ever use this thing. Um, but yeah, that's fine. That's okay. Alright guys, well anyway, today's video was literally just to get it working, get it moving, and it does work, it moves, it flies. That is awesome. I'm gonna link TT's, uh, microcontroller down below if you guys wanna check it out and build your own. And, um, yeah, that's it. So, thanks for watching, hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.